Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly and I'm once again playing the game Craps Poopy. Now last episode, things got absolutely insane. The killer was finally revealed. It turns out that it wasn't the principal's son who was doing all the killings. It wasn't the guy with the big hammer who's a big zombie who looks like he's killing everyone. It was actually Sachiko, who is the ghost girl in the red dress and we're still not sure why she did the killings, but apparently she's the one who actually stabbed all the other people to death, all the other kids, and we got to relive that awful, awful moment through the eyes of Ayumi, who was possessed or basically channeling the little girl ghost who's helping her and Yoshiki right now. And it was awful. It was easily one of the most uncomfortable situations in the whole game so far because the audio, the sounds of the little kids getting murdered was just, it, it was very unsettling. It, it definitely put me off quite a bit. And that's what this game has been doing. It's just been constantly ramping up how uncomfortable it can make me. And if it's not making me feel uncomfortable, I'm terrified because it has some great atmosphere, terrifying sound effects. Everything about this game is really well done. But I really, really wish that there were moments that made me feel a little less awful while playing this, but uh, I guess we're going to start chapter 5. From what I hear, this is the most intense chapter out of the entire game. Uh, let's dive right in, guys. Might as well. But I've really been enjoying this experience. I know that you guys have been as well because you've been telling me on Twitter as well as on YouTube here. And uh, yeah, of course we're going to watch the opening. We can't miss any of the story. We're invested now. We have to find out all the terrible shit that's going down at all times. Plus, you guys love to watch me squirm, so there's that. <laughs> I just wanted to lose consciousness. The deepest part of my brain had become thoroughly clouded over, and there were moments when I felt as though I could almost slip away. I wonder who's talking right now. But the intense pain would always wrench me back to my senses before I could follow through. I would have welcomed even a momentary loss of consciousness with open arms, but any sort of respite from my suffering was plainly denied me. The only possible escape was death, and death was certainly at hand but it was taking an eternity to reach me. I wonder if this is like the final moments of one of the, the murder victim children, because from the sounds of it, especially from the sounds of the audio, those were very slow deaths, and that was something that was revealed in the investigator's tape as well, was the fact that since Sachiko is a weak little girl, you don't think about it very much, but because Sachiko is such a weak little girl, her stabbing those kids over and over again didn't put a lot of force behind the knife that she was using, so that's a really slow stabbing death. Not to mention she apparently delighted in torturing her victims because Ayumi had her eyeball slowly stabbed into, and then like messed around with until it apparently became soup-like, which is awful. Just absolutely awful. Anyway, and, and I just realized it's not a knife either. It was scissors, which aren't really designed specifically for stabbing. So there's, there's a lot of sort of more blunt force that goes into that, which hurts a lot more than just a clean cut with a really sharp blade. I was like a shellfish removed from its shell. I knew my fate, but only the chef would make the end come, and she was savoring my torment. Yeah, so it sounds like someone who's being tortured by freaking Sachiko. Yep, there she is, giggling in her <laughs> evil giggle of snippy giggleness. Hi there, you psycho. Alright, so apparently we're still seeing things through Ayumi's eyes. Or I, I guess, at this point. Oh, God. Oh, God, the audio. Oh, God. Just hearing someone getting stabbed to death. Ugh. Oh, this was already told to us before, that they were stabbed in the left eye an indeterminate number of times. Oh, so now we're actually going through the pain with Ayumi. Wonderful. Ugh, oh, lovely. Oh. I, uh, I really don't like that. That's just, uh, it's so gross. Yeah, there's the soup-like line. Mmm, makes me want soup real bad. Oh, God. You're a tenacious one, aren't you, is what she said. I don't know why the, uh, the audio is a little bit ahead there, but things happen. Oh. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Thank you, Sajiko, for talking right in my ear. That was wonderful. Oh, God. Oh, it's, like, so gooey. It's, like, you know, it's someone's insides or inside of an eyeball, essentially, being just... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, God, it's so gross. It's really messed up. Ugh. Let's see if we can scoop it out. Oh, God. So Sachiko is a little fucked up in the... I mean, not a little bit. She's a lot of bit fucked up in the head. Oh. Uh -oh. That dialogue's a little bit slow again. I want to know what she's saying. Now open up and say, ah. Oh, this is where she's going to cut out the tongue. Oh, no. I'm not... Oh, mommy. What? That's a hell of an intro to chapter five. Uh, what I was gonna try to say is, um, I have no problem with gore, or, or even, you know, death or, or murder in most things. Uh, like movies, any sort of fiction, it's, it's fictionalized, so it's not, it's something that you t it's something that you take sort of with like a grain of salt, you know? You, you can't invest yourself fully in it, uh, and be fully empathetic with the characters because you have to realize that the difference is that, oh, it's Kazami the crazy guy with baby Yuka again! Good. Oh, man. But what I was trying to say was, I, I mean, if you if you lose yourself so much into something fictionalized and you start blurring that line between reality and fiction, you know, that's not really healthy all the time to do that. But at the same time, you know, you obviously shouldn't get uh, really happy about violence and death and things. You should feel a little bit of empathy for characters in games and movies and things. But in the case of, of gore and violence, I'm normally not that turned off by it, except in the case of torture. Torture regardless, even if it's simulated torture, is still torture in a lot of ways because it still has that psychological effect on everyone who's listening or watching. And in this particular case, I think that's why it's unnerving me so much. I, like, I have goosebumps all over my arms right now because because of that scene right there in the opening. Um, it's, it's not my favorite thing. It really freaks me out. Anyway, sorry to go on a rant there, but let's go ahead and see what Crazy Kazami's was. Oh, God. Was it you or Stay Silent? Or was that you? Oh, in the bathroom, that's right, because she... She heard the scariness. Aw, oh, poor Yuka. Oh, God, he's so creepy. Please don't kill us, dude. Don't kill Yuka, she's just a baby. Uh, maybe if we find his little sister, he'll be less crazy. Aw, oh, poor Yuka doesn't get the pee yet, still. Also, it would be terrible if we find his sister and his little sister's dead and he goes even more crazy because I'm sure that's, you know, that won't end well for anybody. You have a very creepy interest in the fact she has to pee so bad, dude. Or grumble. Does she have to... Poopy? Or does she maybe have to eat? Now? Oh, nope. Still the pee. Point of bursting. That's what gave it away. Yeah, how pitiful indeed, dude. God, he is a sadist. Oh, Kizami. I don't like him. Oh, poor little Yuka. Well, you live with me. What? What are you talking about, crazy guy? Uh oh, that's the evil laugh. Dude, chill. Oh, no. You. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, Yuka. Oh, don't tell him that direct. He's now he's gonna kill you. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, what are you saying, Yuki-chan? Oh, was he uh, just so crazy? He thinks that he's... Oh, yeah, I think he's so crazy that he thinks that she's the little sister. Uh... Oh, boy. Oh, good! His true colors are showing! Yay! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Kizami, you don't need to do that, buddy. Sayonara. Yeah, Sayonara is indeed correct. Y yeah, 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 run, 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 run. Yuka-chan, you not go to that way. In the past, Oh, Jesus, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> ah! Uh-oh. 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 What happened downstairs? I don't see anything crazy downstairs. So, wait. What do we have to find? Oh, there's a safe candle. Thank goodness. Woo! I, I am nervous now. I feel like he's gonna definitely murder our faces. I want to have my face murdered. Yuka's too cute to die. Oh, man. Alright, in there? Or... It's probably over here because that way is blocked off. And also, this is where he, like, Sparta kicked the dude. He's gonna... Oh, yep. Oh, Kurosaki. He got stabbed and freaking 300 kicked. King Leonidas. Oh, boy. Oh, of course he's all right, Yuka. You know, he's just bleeding in a puddle, choking on his own blood. Aw, at least she's trying to be brave and helpful. I mean, look at her little face. Aw. It's terrible she's in this situation. Dude. Uh oh. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, I think he's dead anyway, Yuka. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think he's much help. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, shit! Dude, what the hell? Oh, did she just pee herself, or is that just blood? Oh, man. Oh, shit. Is this gonna be a chase scene? Because I hate chase scenes. You guys know I hate them. Oh my god, dude, this is fucked up. Oh crap. Yuka! About what? Yeah, pardon? Oh, is there gonna be another flashback to when they were kids? Ah, oh, they were best friends? That's terrible. Oi. That's a pretty shitty reason to go around and kill people, though. I mean, I get that he's, like, in this crazy school that makes you more violent and evil, but uh, we also saw that flashback where he was obviously pretty unhinged already. Uh-oh. Oops. I accidentally skipped the... That's okay. Something like this. Oh! He punched him! Well, at least Kurosaki is uh, using the last of his strength to help protect Yuka. 
That's a, that's a very good life lesson, is don't blame other people for things. <laughs> Especially if you're a serial killer crazy person. Oh, and you're dead now. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, you're dead, Kurosaki. Oh, boy. That is bad. Aw. Poor little Yuka. Feels so bad for her. Why is it dark, though? I don't like this. Uh-huh. Aw, oh, this is so sad! This is awful! Can we, can we please have more light? Oh, I can't see where he is. This is bad. Oh, oh, now I can! Good! You just big old squishy mess there. Okay. Oh boy. Uh-huh. I'm sure you will. You psycho bastard. Uh yeah, let's run. Is that a sign that we need to get that from him somehow? Uh-oh. ここで幽霊に無語いこらされかとするのは嫌だろ。ああ、いや、ドスピリッツ。大丈夫。そんなことさせない。そんな運命からも。ああ、I <笑> So Kurosaki, or I mean not Kurosaki, uh, Kazami is extra, extra, extra crazy. Here we go! Yeah, oh boy. That was a long scene of death and destruction and awfulness. Oh shit, 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 shit. Alright, I need to save. Okay, I need to save. And then there's a ghost in the corner. Um. Okay. Yes, yes, that is fine. Existing game data. Ah! Oh my god, he's here already! Hi, sir! Ah! Ah! I want to talk to the ghost! Okay, whatever. Ah! Oh, juked! Juked! Okay, run, 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 run. Oh, there he is! Hi, buddy! Oh, god! Oh, shit, it's all dark and shit! Fuck! In the s oh, shit, he's coming. He's here. He's gonna be here, any. Oh, more like. <laughs> Lit rooms are good. Lit rooms are really good. Oh, she's crying while she's running. I mean, I don't blame her. I, I would also be... I don't know where I'm going right now. Oh. How, how long does it take to get... Oh, shit, this is a dead end. Fuck me. Blind, I'm gonna die. Oh, good thing she's quicker than him. Barely. Holy shite but uh, Oh, my God. Okay. Um. Uh, is north... North is the right way? This is where the... Yeah, oh, oh wait, no, no. North is not the good way. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yes, it's so funny. It's very good that you're laughing. Oh, shit. I, I don't know if this is a dead end. Oh, fuck, good. Good, 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 go, 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 go. No. You, you don't need to sing. No, Yuka, don't stop moving, you freaking idiot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. This is ridiculously long. How, how have we not... Lost him yet? I hope he doesn't come out of this sword. Please don't come out of this sword. Oh, what is this? Uh, free. free oh yes, yes, front entrance key. Yes, go, 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 go. Oh. Is they gonna stop him? Wait, no, he can move those, can he? I need to save it. Please don't be like standing right next to me after I've saved. Actually, now that I think about that, if he's still pursuing me, like, oh god, yeah. Oh shit. Um, go, 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 go. It won't budge. I don't care. I got the key. Go, 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 go. Holy shit. Run, run, run. Is he still coming? I don't know if he's still on our tail, but... Stop, stop, stopping. 
Stop stopping. Okay, so he's still there. Oh. Uh oh. Do we trust the ghost girl? Isn't that Sachiko? I don't think we're supposed to trust her. I. Oh, God. Okay. Might as well. The game wants me to, right? Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, stop singing. It's stupid. It's a dumb song, and it doesn't even. It's. It, no one would listen to you. No one would ever listen to you. Uh oh. Okay, I get you're out of breath, Yuka. You're really tiny, but I don't want my ass to get stabbed right now, so... Oh, oh, it's a scene. I'm not controlling her anymore. Did we win? Um, to run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love when uh, Japanese people yell English words like that. Oh, run, rabbit to run. Uh-oh, what the... <gasps> I was not expecting that one. <laughs> Holy shit. That's, so that was good work then. Good job, killer crazy ghost guy. You got killer crazy living guy. Oh, here's Psycho Morishige. Do we get to avoid him too? Because it would be great if the chase scene was still going. Why is everyone so nuts? Everyone who's left here is like freaking psycho bonkers. Like between Morishige, Kizami, and Ayumi, like people are are nutsoid. My Dude, you were taking selfies with her squished body. What do you mean, where are you? But actually, guys, we're out of time after that very lengthy chase scene. I feel like this is actually a good time to stop the episode. Holy crap. What an intro. I was not prepared for that for Chapter 5. Holy balls. It's a good thing I remember the map so well because I knew where the dead ends were for the most part. Uh, I, I was a little bit unsure on some of them, but at least we got away from... Kazami, and I, I think we did the right thing. I think him getting killed is the good thing. I'm assuming Yuka getting caught and killed would be the bad thing. But um, we will continue this in the next episode and find out exactly why Morishige is denying the fact that Mayu got splattered like a meatball against a wall. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Buh bye bye Every game that I play, it always hears me and then it does whatever it is, like, that I said it wasn't doing. I have totally forgot that we're gonna, like, sleep with her right now. I got so into the puzzle aspect that I forgot that it's a dating sim about banging anime chicks.